Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and today I'm going to show you how to use safety eyes. They are one of my very favorite kind of eyes to use on softies because you can get all kinds of great colors and cool effects, and they just have a very different look than a button eye or a stitched eye. First, I want to tell you a little bit about what safety eyes are. These are, this is a normal black safety eye, and this you actually can find at some big box stores. By me, um, the Joann's has them. Michael's and AC Moore do not, but the Joann's does. It's got a shank that has little ridges on it, and it has a washer on the end that has some little sharp points here that tend to grab the fabric. I don't know if you can see them. They're very, very small. And um, you just... Put the shank through your fabric and then push the washer on. Very, very easy to do, but you do have to use a little bit of muscle to get that washer on and you have to make sure you push it all the way down to get it to lock into place. What I'm going to show you today is a, is a less common eye. These I have only ever been able to find online. This one is a cat's eye or a reptile eye. I'm going to use it on a monster. They come in all kinds of great colors, and they look a little bit different. Their shank does not have ridges on it, and the washer that comes with them is a metal washer. These, I don't feel like, hold quite as well, but I like the effect so much that I think it's, uh, I like, it's worth it to use them. One thing I do want to mention, these are called safety eyes, but they are not safe for children under three. So don't feel like that these are a safe alternative to a button eye for very small children. These are just like buttons as far as safety goes and the age of the kid getting your softy. So I'm going to just do a quick demonstration showing you how to attach them to your softy. This is the face that I'm going to put them on and I've got the eye marked here and I'm going to just use my seam ripper to cut a very very small hole. You want it to be just big enough for that shank to go in. And that one I got on my first try. I usually err on the side of having it be a little bit too small. I'd rather go back and add extra cuts um, than, than cut it too big the first time. So it's really easy. You just slip the eyeball into the hole. And then with these metal ones, you want all of the points to be facing up. There's, you can tell they're, they're pointed up if you look at it from the side. You want them to be facing up, and you just push it down onto your eye, and just make sure you push it down as snugly as you can, as far as you can. Really put some muscle into that. And then you have an eye. These are really, really fun to use when you're working with kids because they are so fast to put on. It's much, much faster than stitching an eye or sewing on a button. And also, I mean, you just can't beat the colors and the reptile shapes and things like that. I've got a couple of other colors that she makes. She makes them in all different sizes. The, the company I order them from is 6060 online. But she also makes these really neat owl eyes uh, that have a round pupil and lots of other different eyes too. So you can, you can browse around and look at all different kinds of things. But she's nice because she'll put up assortments for me. I want to show you one other thing. When you're using these eyes with fur, it can be a little bit tricky because they can tend to disappear into the fur. So for example, if I stuck this eye, I've got a little hole in here. I marked it on the back. But if I put this eye into the fur, now I'm holding the shank from the back, and I give it any kind of a shake, it completely disappears. So a lot of times when you're working with fur, and sometimes when you're working with regular fabric too, you want to put a back on it. And I've got a couple of different options that I wanted to show you for backs. A really common option is just to cut a circle of felt, put the shank through the circle of felt first, and then put it into the softy. Let's see if I can find that hole here again. You can see that that'll help a little bit, but one of the problems with it being felt is that the fur will tend to push the felt up over the eye a little bit. So you might want to use something a little bit stiffer than that. My daughter spotted some washers I had sitting on the shelf one day, and she made some that had a washer behind it, just a metallic washer. Let me find the spot, that's where it goes. 
And that makes for a really interesting look. If I can get it in there. It's the other thing that the fur makes it difficult is to find your opening once you poke your tiny, tiny little hole. It can be very hard to find it again. There it goes. So a washer can be an interesting effect. And you can get washers with all different kinds, sizes of holes and things in the middle. So that can be nice. It has a nice reflective quality, um, which can be interesting looking. And it holds the fur down away from it. Another option is to use that craft foam. You can cut a circle out of that too. And you can even buy this already punched in perfect circles so you can get a really, really nice clean edge on it. And put that in there. And sometimes I like to use, I wanted to show you this too. I like to use a backer that's almost the same color as the fur so that it serves to push the fur down but not make the eye super conspicuous. So I'm having a hard time holding the shank from the back. It's pretty short. So that's an option too. One more option for furs is that you can put it on, really shake the fur into place, and then you can give them a little bit of a haircut. So you can just trim away any fur that is tending to fall into his eyes and just cut that away. So a few different options for different ways that you can work with safety eyes on a furry fabric. It can be especially tricky on a really deep fur like this one. So that's it. It's really easy to use safety eyes. You can use them all on their own or you can put all different kind of materials behind them as a backer, both to add emphasis to the eye and also to make it stand out if you're using it in a deep shaggy fur especially. The eyes can very easily get hidden. The toughest thing about safety eyes is finding the really cool ones. I've only ever been able to find them online and I'm going to put links to the shop that I mentioned in the blog post that goes with this video. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World. I'll see you next time.